Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create multiple sheets or how you can open multiple sheets in Swift UI. I've already covered this topic before using a different approach, so I am using this second approach. Whichever approach you like, you can implement that. So as you can see, we have a vertical stack which consists of three buttons. And what we want to do is to open a different view when we click on each button, a different sheet. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a sheet. And you'll see that there are many different ways, overloads that we can use to open up a sheet. We have previously used this presented, but there is something called item. Now, if you look at the implementation of item, you can pass something to it, but that something has to be a binding identifiable. So how do we build this? We'll go over here and we will create something called enum. And we will call this enum anything you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it sheets. And just I'm just gonna call it sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three. So sheet two and sheet three. And to make it identifiable, I'm gonna go ahead and implement the identifiable protocol. Now, in order to conform to the identifiable protocol, it must give you the ID property. And you can see that it is complaining. Let's go ahead and add that ID property. The ID property is going to be only returning the property. It's, uh, since it is inside the enum, it's more of a computed property. So we can use different approaches. I think the easiest one is to just return integer and the hash value of current thing, which is the instance of sheet. All right. Now, having done that, now we can go ahead and provide some value to the item. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a private variable, var, and I can say active sheet, and this will be sheets, and we can go ahead and make it nullable, and this will be a state property. Now since sheets, which is declared right over here, conforms to identifiable, we can go ahead and put it right here as a bindable active sheet. For the content, we are going to get an item. So I can say item in, and this is going to be of type sheet. So we can go ahead and perform a switch on it, switch the item. And now we can go ahead and talk about different cases like sheet one, then do something else. So in sheet one, we can go ahead and say sheet one. And then the same exact thing for sheet two and sheet three. So sheet two, we will display a text view. Now, obviously you can display any control you want, but I'm just using a text view. And finally, sheet three. And we're gonna go ahead and say sheet three. Okay, now let's go ahead and build this. Perfect, let's go ahead and refresh our view on the right hand side. Okay, let's do it again. It's having trouble, now it's fine. Let's go ahead and run the app and click on open sheet one. Oh, we, didn't, we forgot to actually do the buttons, so it's not gonna do anything. Okay, let's go ahead and set our active sheet. So active sheet, when you press the button one will be sheet one and the same exact thing for sheet two, but we will change the sheet to sheet two. And the same thing for sheet three, we'll just change it to sheet three. Okay, now let's go ahead and run it. And now if I click on sheet one, I can see the sheet one, I can click on sheet two, I see sheet two and sheet three. So using this approach, we have created a condition inside the sheet, which allows our single view to show multiple sheets. And this we created using enums and conforming to identifiable. So this is another technique if you want to show multiple sheets in Swift UI. If you want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. You can see that I have a course called Swift UI Declarative Interfaces for Any Apple Device with more than 5,000 enrolled students. This is a 21 plus hours of video, which also include a different, a new section for Swift 2.0 and Swift UI pedometer integration, building a beautiful car display. Even I have added integration with core data. 
So this is the best course and the most complete course on Surf UI. The best way to get this course is to check out the link in the YouTube description and I will have link of other courses also. Uh, thank you so much for your continuous support and I really hope that you have enjoyed this video.